All right, so today in this video, we're gonna be going through traffic control devices. Um, and I think these problems are gonna help you um, in the transportation section as you're studying for your civil FB exam. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So for number one, it says, given the following information for traffic signal timing, Determine the length of a ye yellow interval to the nearest second. Okay, so we have driver reaction time, 2.5. Um, vehicle approach speed is 20 feet per second. Um, deacceleration is 11 feet per second squared. And our percent uh, grade is 8% upgrade. They're going up. Okay, so... This is good information for us. Let's um, write out what we're given. Well, it, it kind of shows us what we're given. So we're given, um, first thing is a driver reaction time. We're also given vehicle approach speed, we're given deceleration and percent grade. Okay, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the length of a yellow interval. I'm just going to erase that because that is atrocious. Okay, so what are the formulas that we need all right so traffic signal timing um i'm just gonna search in my fe handbook signal and see what comes up all right so 53 things come up so i'll do traffic signal all right only two things come up Cool. Traffic signal timing, right? All right. So do we see anything for a length of yellow interval? Okay. So Y, it's like Y is equal to the length of yellow interval. So the nearest second. Cool. So we have Y. Or we're trying, we're looking for why is what we're trying to find. Do we have T? So T is the driver reaction time. We have the driver reaction time. Next, we check for V. Do we have V? Vehicle approach speed. We have the vehicle approach speed. What about A? A is deceleration. We have deceleration and then do we have a G G is the percent grade and it's plus or minus so plus would be upgrade minus would be downgrade in our case it's going to be a plus because it is upgrade um, or positive grade all right so we we have all the variables that we need. Now it's just time to solve and plug and chug. So um, you have the formula there. So I'm just gonna start plugging. Hopefully you can follow with me. So Y is equal to T, which is 2.5 plus V, which is 20. And it's all over your two times your 11. Um, and then what else? Uh, plus 64.4 
times g, which is our grade. It's, in key, it's key to uh, note that our grade is 8%, but in decimal form, that is 0 0.08. All over, and this is in parentheses. Okay, so now it's just time to solve. And once you do solve all of that, you should get y is equal to 3.23 seconds. And so, um, that is let's see. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say, if you're looking to pass your civil FE exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course, and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while, or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.